April is National Limb Loss Awareness Month, and amputees are being encouraged to show their mettle. We're joined now by Patrick Conley with Kenny Orthopedics and Sean Carlstadt, an amputee and educator. And we do thank you all very much for coming in. Thank, thank you for having you're us. Here. We really do. Uh, talk about your experience, uh, how you lost your limbs, and, and, and what you have done in overcoming that. Well, it, it, interestingly enough, there is this thing called sepsis that I had never heard before. Basically, all of your organs shut down. And this summer, I, con I contracted something that made my body go septic. And they induced a coma, so I was in a coma co for a couple of weeks. And in order to keep my organs alive, they chose something that's called pressors. And those pressors take the blood from your extremities and keep your heart going. Um, so basically save your life. So you lose a little to save a lot. Yeah. And that's how I lost my limbs. Patrick, it has to be very rewarding for you to work with someone and get them back out there enjoying life. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's definitely a field that every day you come to work knowing that you're there to help some people and return them to their quality of life. And I, I can't imagine doing anything different. What is it like when you get an opportunity to uh, work with somebody who's determined, you know, to get back and, and do things uh, as uh, they were doing before? You know, I'm uh, someone like Sean here really makes my job easy. You know, um, her being as motivated and having the family support, and she really pushes us, you know, to give her the best. And um, it's just really fabulous working with somebody as, as fabulous as she is. So, Sean, what does showing your medal mean to you? Mm. Uh, well, you know, this, this is such a staged process, and they do such a great job of not letting you get ahead, you know. Um, I think one time Mo even said to me, can you please put your cart back be behind your horse? Um, and that is, uh, you know, showing my medal was the little things, you know, learning to use a wheelchair, learning to go out in public, learning to um, Christmas shop. I mean, everything has yeah. just kind of been like that. And my family's kind of gone with me, but for right now, my big challenge has been to get back to school. Was there a time that you just felt, you know, I'm going to do this, I can do this, or was that your feeling the whole way? It, you know, it fluctuates. Most days, you know, from the very beginning, I'm like, okay, tell me what to do, I'll do it. And if you tell me how to do it faster, I'd like to do it faster. Um, but then there are some days, you know, you look down and you think, ah, I had such cute feet, and I really like my shoes, and I think I'm just going to stay in bed today. But, yeah, that's, hey, that's when you get your medal up. I think you yeah. keep going more, <laughs> more on that it. side of it. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it very no, much.